so I didn't think I had bought a lot of stuff during lockdown slash quarantine, but turns out I did. Welcome to my What I Bought in Quarantine 2020 haul. If you're new here, I'm Anna May. I recently finished my master's program and I'm currently living at home in the west of Ireland. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy this video and you can follow me on Instagram over at Anna May by Design or if you're a fellow needlepointer like myself, you can also follow AMK Needlepoint. I want to try and justify this by saying that this is stuff purchased from, I believe, even maybe a little bit before lockdown. So that would be February up until now, which is September, which in fairness is a very long time. I'm not sure if it really justifies everything I've purchased, but let's just, let's just get rolling, shall we? I don't even know where to start. I will say I also bought some stuff from Everlane. So if you've been keeping up with that drama, I'm not including that in this haul. I still wear my Everlane clothes because I think it's a waste not to. Uh, they're really high quality clothes in my opinion and they're some of the only jeans that fit me. But yeah, we're just not gonna show them here today. I also think it's kind of ridiculous that I've purchased these things and I'm not really going anywhere. But you know, so the two things I'm kind of excluding from this are hair care products and makeup products. I bought some stuff from Colourpop, but it was like a pretty small order. That said, I am in love with everything I bought. Maybe I'll do something on that another time. And then hair care stuff. Um, I wear my hair. This is my natural hair texture. I've made videos, maybe I'll link the playlist here, uh, of like hair videos before. So we don't even need to go into that right now. That would make this way longer than it's already going to be. I'm gonna stop blabbing and get into the actual haul. So the first two things I'm gonna show you are shoes. I got these shoes. Both shoes are, most of this stuff is bought from ASOS and the two pairs of shoes I have are both purchased from ASOS and their ASOS design brand. So I got these cute little block heel sandals. I'd wanted a pair of sandals like this for a long time and it was hard to find a pair that I really, really loved. I knew I wouldn't really wear black ones as much. So I was looking for like a white or a gold and I love the square toe on these. So these were a pretty reasonable price as well. And I found the ASOS design shoes to be pretty reasonable quality as well. I got these super cute shoes. Um, I have not worn them outdoors yet. Shocker. The other pair of shoes I got are these boots. I got black heeled boots last year from ASOS. Again, ASOS design brand, but they were a, um, like a refurbished leather kind of situation. And they were heeled boots, but they weren't, the heel isn't massive on them. And just how my ankle and leg is shaped, it, I need a much higher heel for it to be noticeable. Also, I am very short. So we like a higher heel. The heel on these looks pretty reasonable on camera. In person, they are quite high. Um, are they comfortable? No, but do they need to be? No, not if they're this cute. I feel like I'll be wearing these a lot. They come up pretty high on the ankle, which is kind of hard if you're like me and have thick calves. Um, but other than that, they're, they're pretty cute. And again, they were a very reasonable price. So now I have three accessories. Uh, I would probably call them more like clothing adjacent uh, because they're all very much in their own categories. The first thing is this bag, which kind of got, got a little smushed, but it actually retains its shape very well. This bag is from a brand that I'm not sure how to pronounce and I should ask my friend who speaks Spanish. I'll link their website down below. So these bags are made in Malaga. Um, they're made from an eco leather. So it's like the waste product of the tanning process which is a very polluting process so they use what is left from that process and they um like mix it with not vinyl but um something similar if you can kind of hear the sound it's really flexible um and it kind of has a leather look but it isn't leather but it contains leather if that makes sense i feel like that's very confusing uh, i'll have the style name of this bag listed down below because i this was the kind of style that i was really looking at but there weren't so many photos of it online uh, obviously i got it in a bright red because i like bright colors and i got this really long strap i think it comes with this you'll see this really long strap um you can see me wearing this in quite a few photos on my instagram because i'm wearing it all the time because it's it's just nice but you can look mask surgical mask and there's a spare how 2020, but the straps are all interchangeable. So I also have this short strap and I love this bag. Um, pretty inexpensive for a high quality bag. It's definitely like a, a statement 
kind of bag, but they have some really cute styles and I would definitely shop from them again. I'm hopefully gonna do a video, maybe I'll do like Instagram reels or something, styling this bag because I've actually styled it so much and I wear it all the time, even though it's bright red. If they if it came in hot pink, I would have gotten hot pink. I also just wanna put that out there. Next in the accessory adjacent category is this clip. This was in one of my ASOS orders. It's a really cute little hair clip. Uh, like a big jaw clip, but I thought this was a lot larger. Um, as you can probably see, I have quite a bit of hair. My hair isn't even particularly thick, but it's quite long. It looks not super long because it's quite curly today. It's weird. It shrank a lot when I washed it last night, but um, it actually comes down to almost at my belly button <laughs> when it's straight. So this clip is very small. I should have looked at the measurements, but I thought it was gonna be larger. I thought I'd be able to clamp all of my hair in the back, but I use it just to like put it on top of my head and you know, just pull half of my hair back. But it's pretty cute and it actually seems very good quality for just ASOS, because I go through a lot of hair accessories. So this one, I never thought I'd really be like necessarily talking about online, but uh, it just came out of the wash. But it is a bra, but it's more of a bralette, but you know, what is a, a bra? What is a bralette? Do you know what I mean? Uh, from Organic Basics, You've, especially if you're in Europe, I think you've probably gotten ads for these or else it's just me and getting like marketed slightly more eco-friendly products like the bag and this. I had seen this advertised like day and night and this was at the beginning of lockdown. And I was like, you know, we're gonna be here for a while. I'm gonna be writing my dissertation. I might as well get myself a really comfy bralette. This is a game changer. It is like 40 euro, so it's pretty pricey for like, would you like, oh, it's like a little cotton crop top. It's like double lined with like such high quality, obviously it's organic cotton, that's organic basics. Um, It's got a th really thick band. The thick band isn't great for me because I have such a short torso. So it kind of rolls up if like it just doesn't work so well but the quality of this is incredible and it is so flattering i usually really don't fit into typical size bralettes because i need like an extra small band but then like a medium cup kind of situation but this is a small i could nearly go down to an extra small for the band it is a little bit loose i have to, like i have to wear it on the tightest hook but it also has, it has three hooks at the back, but this, I cannot recommend this enough. Obviously I got the black one. I'm almost certainly gonna get the nude one because I'm gonna be wearing this in the winter, like under jumpers and stuff. It's just, at least, I, I've seen a lot of people with the other style, um, which is more of a crop top style and has a little keyhole, which I think would suit different bodies. Um, but for me, this one, is the winner. I cannot recommend this enough. They have free shipping sales, I think is the only kind of sale that they ever really have. Um, I haven't tried any of the other stuff because it's kind of expensive, but if this is anything to go by, it's worth it. If you're gonna take any recommendation from this haul, please try this. So, skincare. A lot of people got really into skincare over lockdown and quarantine. Um, I've always had pretty bad skin. Hopefully you can't tell that right now with the buckets of makeup I have on my face, but I've had moderate to pretty pretty severe cystic acne. Now I would only say it's it's very mild. Um, but th since I was about 14, I'm almost 24. That's awkward to say. So a lot of the products that people were, you know, Hiram approved, I was actually already using. So I added a couple other pieces. Um, so I was already using the niacinamide and zinc and the CeraVe foaming face wash. They were already my two staples. Since then, I did manage to get my hands on the AHA and BHA peeling solution mask. This is okay, nothing to write home about. Again, I have problematic skin, so I think it, skincare products work differently for different people. I think maybe as I continue to use it, I will have better results. And then I also got the cold press board seed oil, which I think is, is it safflower oil is the other name for it. This is nice, but it definitely has a smell that I don't like. It's not a strong smell, but it's a smell I don't like. So I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with this. Nice if you're feeling a little bit like puffy and you just want to like massage your face, then it's a good option. It didn't break me out when I put it on. So I think it's definitely more of a, like an acne safe option. It's fine, nothing crazy good. What is crazy good is this. This is not from The Ordinary. It's uh, from a brand called Salcura. 
I think I got it on like Beauty Bay or something when I was ordering other stuff, like hair stuff. But it's Antiac Active Liquid Spray, max strength. It's for your face and you can totally use it on your face. I have used it on my face when I'm getting a lot of breakouts, but I purchased it to try and find something stronger and replace the Boots Tea Tree Body Spray. If you are someone who breaks out on your chest or your shoulders, the Boots Spray is really good, but I was trying other things. I want to see if they work better and this one is the best. It is more expensive than the Boots one, but it works really, really well. It's more of a natural brand, I believe. Like it's the, yeah, it's aloe and I believe there's like witch hazel and there's lots of stuff like that in it But I found this works really really well and I definitely prefer it to the boots one This video is already so long and I haven't even gotten into the clothing and I just spotted another piece of clothing Great, so I guess we'll start with this one that I just spotted from across my room This is a recent find if you didn't see my last video. I think it was my last video I went to every charity shop in my town. I will link the video here um, and I really didn't find much at all but my mom volunteers in a charity shop and so she's in and out of that shop a lot more frequently like when she finishes up in the sorting for the day she'll like go into the shop part and she spotted this absolute find it is a Ralph Lauren jumper and yes it is new um, so it's a size small, usually I think I wear a larger size than that, but I think this will be fine. I think it's it's kind of got a, a v-neck, but it's this kind of a v-neck. I don't know how to, else to describe that. Um, I think it's going to look so nice with like some layered gold necklaces and these gold hoops and overall very very excited about this. I guess I'll keep going with my second hand purchases. I also got a Lululemon Skort. Before the whole like tennis skirt came thing came up on like TikTok, I think. Um, but it's definitely like more of a workout skirt. I really, really want one from Girlfriend Collective, but they, you know, can't really get my hands on one. I found this one in my what I was my usual Lululemon size on Depop. Purchased it. I got a really good deal on it. It is not appropriate for public wear for me. So, Krista Robertson, one of my favorite blogger, my favorite blogger by far. She has a blog post like ranking all different skorts, like workout skorts for really for like casual wear, which is what I would be wearing them for. Or, you know, maybe like going on walks or hikes. She did not rate the Lululemon skirt. She published that after I had purchased this one and like months after. And I was like, thank you because it does not work. If you are in any way like thick, like if you are a thick girl, do not get the Lululemon one. It will not cover your booty. Like it barely covers my tush. Anyways, another thing I got on Depop was this J. Crew sweater blazer. I don't know what size it is because the person cut off the tag. I was kind of finding it unusual when people do that. Um, it's a nice baby blue color. It's definitely not the color I would go for if I was purchasing it. Like if I could choose a color, I wouldn't be choosing this one. I feel like it might wash me out a bit. I would probably go for the hot pink or the camel or navy but this was a mad good price and I'm not sure if I will ever buy one full price. So I jumped and I got it. It's the Sophie sweater blazer, I believe is what it's called. But I think I got this for like 35 euro, something wild. So not 170 or whatever they are full price. If you know me, you know I love Lily. I found this absolute gem on eBay. I think I bought it from someone in the UK even. It's a US eight, but it, fits me well, which is kind of unusual because usually I size down quite a bit for Lily stuff. It's so funny, it's like such bright colors, it's throwing off the, the lighting in this. Um, it actually fits pretty well. I, if anything, I need to get the straps taken up because as I said, my torso is very short, but I would definitely need like, I think the six would actually be too tight around the chest. So that's surprising, but Honestly, this is so cute with white jeans. I didn't get that many opportunities to wear it, unfortunately, but I just think this is like such a classic Lily print and such a classic style. I think it's the pearl top. Don't hold me to that. And finally, let's get into the new clothing portion of this. So back in January, February, I think it was, Gal Meets Glam Collection, which is Julia Berlheimer, formerly Engel, uh, her clothing brand. They had a big sale and I decided to finally purchase something from there. Little did I know it was actually 
the beginning she announced then about a month later that it was their closing down sale. They were pulling the plug on the Gal Meets Glam brand. She might be rebranding in the future, but that was a whole interesting thing. I did think it was interesting she said that she wasn't really happy with the quality of some of the garments she was producing because I know people had said before that the quality of Gal Meets Glam is amazing. I personally did not think that. Um, compared to other higher end, but like, you know, mid, not mid-range, but like higher end brands, like when we're talking about like Lily or something like that. To compare Lily Pulitzer quality to Gal Meets Glam, it's just not the same. I feel like this is something I could find in TK Maxx. And I know that's a little bit harsh, but the styles are beautiful. If that's the style that you like, it can be hard to find stuff that's so classic, but um, I was not super happy with the quality. So I'm very glad I purchased them at a good, good sale price, not full price. I'm not gonna insert try on clips because there's A, so much stuff, and B, a couple of these things need to be altered. I just haven't done so because coronavirus. Um, so I got this style dress. I cannot remember the name of it. It is so beautiful on top. I got a US six in this and it fits, I would say, pretty true to size. It's pretty long. I know that she does petite sizes, but there were no petites in the styles that I wanted. So I was like, it's fine. I can just get it like taken up because a lot of petite stuff, they just shorten it, you know, from the bottom. Whereas I'm going to have to get it adjusted on the top. Anyways, I would definitely need the six again for the chest. Um, the colors in this are so beautiful, but I definitely need to get it taken up because even as a midi, it's like way too long. Um, it's almost down to my ankles. I really like this dress, but the finishing on it is not amazing. There were a lot of like threads hanging off and like there's threads hanging off and stuff like that. I used to work at a boutique and when we would get new shipments in, I would like look at the items and I would make sure that they were fully intact and there weren't like seams that weren't straight or threads coming loose and, and stuff like that. I feel like that's pretty basic, especially when you're dealing with higher end items. So I'm very glad I got these on sale. The other dress needs a lot of adjustment. I got this in a US 8. So, oh, I have the tag here. No, it says do not remove this tag. Okay, oh, no, here. Okay, so it says ruby, but I think ruby is obviously the color. Uh, it is this really beautiful, one shoulder dress with a big bow on it. It is so cute, so Christmassy. I can't wait to wear it. Again, this needs to be, I think it's supposed to be like a slightly longer skater skirt. I'm gonna be getting that, you know, really raising the hem of this because right now it is not a flattering length. I would say it's kind of tight around the, the hip region for a US eight and for a skirt that's cut like this, you know, a lot of the models that you see it on are very, slim and they're very like narrow. I'm definitely more of a curvy person. Um, I can wear from UK sizes. I wear stuff that's a UK 8. I wear stuff that's a UK 14. I'm just, I just don't really work with standard sizing, but this is fine. It fits me well around the chest and like okay around the rib area, but like this region here, not the cutest, but overall I'm still happy with that purchase, but extra happy that I bought it on sale. I've always wanted a pair of denim shorts, but I didn't really or don't have the body type for them. But then I was like, I really, really want a pair of denim shorts. So I decided to purchase a pair. I got some from Hollister. They are the high rise vintage short in a four inch inseam. Um, these honestly fit really well as far as denim shorts fit on my body. Like they, they fit. Uh, I got them in, I got them slightly larger than my normal size and I'm glad I did. I just wanted them a bit more roomy. They are a little longer than like really cute ones at the front, but I need that for the back. I just wanted to have a pair of denim shorts that I could wear with a t-shirt because I just didn't have that option before. So it was always like a dress or maybe a skirt. Then you had to kind of dress nicer or else jeans and I didn't want to wear jeans because it was warm. So I decided to go crazy, get denim shorts. Somewhat bizarre purchase I made uh, a couple of weeks ago is this dress, which I will definitely be, it will definitely be in a video um, that I'm hoping to do for like reels, maybe for, in, for YouTube as well, um, styling a certain bag, but it is a big old tiered dress. It was 25 euro on TK Maxx and I saw it and I was just in love. I love the light green color. It's quite flattering on me, my hair color. And then it's a big old 
big old princessy skirt and I just love it. A kind of a sad purchase. It's a very beautiful dress but it's kind of a hurts my heart a little bit, is this dress from Bowdoin. Bowdoin have really, really nice stuff. Some of their stuff is a bit like mumsy, if you know what I mean. Uh, and I don't do jersey dresses specifically, but they have some really beautiful shirt dresses. So I got this brown, kind of a reddish brown, um, I don't know what they call this color, shirt dress. And I love it so much. I got it in a 10 regular. It actually fits fine in the upper body, surprisingly. Uh, it's a UK 10, obviously, um, but it's got a big full skirt. And the reason this is kind of sad is because I actually purchased this for a school trip, but it was like a school going, networking, touring, um, international organizations in Geneva. Uh, yeah, that didn't happen. So that was supposed to be at Easter time. So I purchased this obviously well before everything got canceled um, in hopes that I would be wearing it in, you know, the late spring in Geneva, but it still has tags on it, so that's cool. Kind of related to that, I got this pink blazer um, just kind of as a, as a casual wear item, but also as like a casual work wear kind of an item. Um, it's slightly longer, which doesn't work so well on my shape, but it's still pretty cute. It's from the YAS, like the YAS brand. This on ASOS, and I got it in a medium, um, but it's a petite. I think. It's a UK 10 medium is what it is actually. So it fits really, really well. And lastly, I know there's just so much stuff. Uh, I got two sweaters from ASOS. One of them is ASOS Design, so like ASOS own brand. Um, I'm pretty unhappy with the quality of this. I know it's like a, a small fitted sweater, but I just don't think the quality is there. I think I'll wear it plenty. Um, it's kind of a wide neck, really lightweight knit sweater, like a ribbed sweater. Um, long sleeves. I will be wearing it as a layering piece all the time, I know that, but I just would have thought I've had really good quality pieces from ASOS Design before. Not super excited about that. And then I also got this lovely cardigan from Pimkey, um, and it has some recycled fiber in it, but like that means, that means F all. We know that. And it's just a cute little grey cardigan and it's not too long, which is usually an issue for me. This would hit like right at my hip, which like at the top of my hip, which is pretty unusual because I, as I said, so many times I have such a short torso and I'll be wearing it all the time during the autumn and winter. If you're still here, congratulations. That was a big long haul of me just rambling through all the items I purchased during quarantine. I purchased a lot, but also, I think I was pretty reasonable. I didn't go crazy purchasing loungewear, even though I could have. I've just been wearing what I have of my collection of uh, big boxy t-shirts and running shorts. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram at Anime by Design, and I will see you in my next video.